בוקר טוב. אר הבא, who is in the שמאים, set apart is your name. Your reign come, your will and desire be done. Be done in earth now as it is in the Shamaim. Give us this day our daily portion. And forgive us our sins, debts, and trespasses. As we forgive those who are sinned, indebted, and trespassed against us. And lead us not into the hands of Messiah, temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the reign and the power and the esteem eternal. Baruch atah Yahuwah Elohanu Melech HaOlem Blessed are you, O Yahuwah, our Creator, our Elohim. Creator of the universe. I pray all of this through the blood of the Messiah, your son, so that my words may be washed clean to reach the Shamaim. I believe it is so. And I will love the Creator with all my heart and with all my being and with all my strength and with all my mind and my neighbor as myself. <clears throat> Psalm 62. My being finds rest in Elohim alone. From him is my deliverance. And alone he is my rock and my deliverance, my strong tower. And I am not greatly shaken. How long would you assail a man? You crush him. All of you, like a leaning wall, a tottering fence. They plotted to topple him from his high position. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouths. But in their heart they curse, Selah. My being find rest in Elohim alone because my expectation is from Him. He alone is my rock and my deliverance, my strong tower. I am not shaken. My deliverance and my esteem depend on Elohim, the rock of my strength. My refuge is in Elohim. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. Elohim is a refuge for us. Selah. Sons of Adam are but a breath. Sons of men are a lie. If weight in the scales, they are altogether lighter than breath. Do not trust in oppression. Do not become vain and robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. Elohim has spoken once. Twice I have heard this. 
that strength belongs to Elohim. And kindness is yours, O Yahuwah, for you reward each one according to his work. Psalm 62 Zechariah 11 Open your doors, O Lebanon, and let fire devour your cedars. Howl, O, <clears throat> o Cyprus, for the cedar has fallen, because the mighty are ravaged. Howl, O oaks of Bashan, for the dense forest has come down. Listen, the howling of shepherds, for their splendor is ravaged. Listen, the ro roaring of lions, for the pride of the yarden is ravaged. Thus says Yahuwah, my Elohim. Feed the flock for slaughter, whose owners slaughter them and feel no guilt, and whose sellers say, Blessed be Yahuwah, for I have become rich, and their own shepherds do not spare them. <clears throat> for I shall no longer spare the inhabitants of the land, declares Yahuwah. But see, I am delivering up mankind, each one into his neighbor's hand, and into the hand of his sovereign. And they shall crush the earth, but I do not deliver them from their hand. Mm, 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 mm. So I shepherd the flock meant for slaughter, the truly poor of the flock. And I took for myself two staffs, the one I called Pleasantness, and the other I called Unity, and I shepherded the flock. Then I sent off the three shepherds <clears throat> in one month, then I sent off the three shepherds in one month. For my being depressed them, and their being also loathed me. So I said, I am not shepherding you. Let the dying die, and the straying stray. And let those who are left each eat each other's flesh. And I took my staff, pleasantness, and cut it in two to break the covenant which I had made with all the peoples. So it was broken on that day, and the poor of the flock who were watching me knew that it was the word of the Creator. And I said to them, If it was good in your eyes, give me my wages, and if not, refrain. So they weighed out for my rages thirty pieces of silver. And Yahuwah said to me, Throw it to the potter, the splendid price that which I was valued by them. And I took the thirty pieces of silver and threw them into the house of Yahuwah for the potter. Then I cut into my other staff, Unity, to break the brotherhood between Yahudah and Yisrael. And Yahweh said to me, Take again the implements of a foolish shepherd. For look, <clears throat> I am raising up a shepherd in the land who does not visit those straying, nor seek the young, nor heal those who, that are broken, nor feed those that stand still. But he does eat the flesh of the fat and tear off their hooves. Woe to the worthless shepherd forsaking the flock. Let the sword be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall wither and his right eye shall be dimmed. Mm. That's the word of Yahuwah, our creator. According to Zechariah 11. <clears throat> 
Thank you, Abba, for your word. Thank you for this day that you have made. I will rejoice and enjoy it. Though my very being all the way to the center core desires to be made perfect and be with you. For so long as you shall have me remain, guide me, take my heart, be the potter, I'm the clay. And do the same with all of our leadership, all of our leadership on this earth. Cause a change that no one can deny. Make all see your will and let it be done. May your word lead us and guide us in all things. Our hands, mouth, feet, eyes, ears, our entire beating to serve you and to do your will and be a part of making earth like Shamaim and bringing Shamaim to the earth. It is written, I believe it is so, word to the Father through the Son, so my words are washed clean when they reach the Shamaim. Yeah, man. Baruch you. May you have shalom this day and agape.